morning, everyone. My name is Florence, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Chrysalix Technologies, and we're enabling the circular bioeconomy. What is the circular bioeconomy? In the circular bioeconomy, any type of waste biological matter, for example, waste wood, is turned into a variety of new things. For example, your next plastic bottle, fuel for your car, or new materials such as carbon fibers. In the EU and US alone, around 100 million tons of waste wood remain unrecycled every year. This is equivalent to a forest area about the size of a staggering 1 million football pitches, or about twice the size of Denmark, not including Greenland. The main reason for this is that heavy metal containing preservatives and other pollutants make this type of wood non-recyclable. And as a result, it's sent to landfill or incineration, where its economic value is largely lost. To tackle this problem, we've developed a Bioflex process that unlocks a value of around 28 billion euros from this resource. But how exactly can we possibly make plastic bottles from wood? Wood is made of different chemical components. The most important ones are cellulose and lignin. Our Bioflex process uses a new type of solvents called ionic liquids, which separate those components. Once separated from each other, we can then produce renewable chemicals, plastics, or even carbon fibers. At the same time, we can extract and recover the heavy metal pollutants that are present in this type of wood. Of course, we're not the only ones who are trying to produce renewable chemicals from wood. What we're doing is, in a nutshell, not too different from the paper pulping process. However, we use mild conditions and avoid the use of harsh chemicals. More importantly, however, is that we can use an unwanted waste wood as a very cheap raw material. This means our production costs are significantly reduced. Rather than just producing one marketable product, the Bioflex process produces crystalline cellulose as well as high quality lignin and some valuable byproducts. All in all, this results in an environmentally and economically more sustainable process. We offer several environmental benefits. We offer the use of a sustainable non-food feedstock for the production of cost-effective chemicals and fuels. At the same time, we're diverting wood waste from going into landfill and incineration, and with this also the associated methane and CO2 emissions. Our ambition is to make this a zero-waste process where we are using all the components of the wood. And through this, we can offer very high CO2 savings compared to regular petrochemicals. With our process outputs, we're targeting different markets. The main output of our process is cellulose, which we can feed into the rapidly growing market for cellulose fibers, which is expected to be worth almost 40 billion euros by 2025. Alternatively, we can also produce bioplastic and renewable chemicals from the cellulose. Also, the lignin can be sold into those markets. The bioplastic market is expected to be worth 28 billion euros by 2024, while the market for biochemicals is also rapidly growing over the next decade. Lastly, we can market some of our byproducts as high value specialty chemicals. Also on the feedstock side, we're looking at various markets beyond contaminated waste wood. In the future, virgin wood residues, as well as various agricultural residues, will be very interesting markets, and we can unlock a value of almost 300 billion euros from those materials. This technology was developed by our academic team at Imperial College in the group of Professor Jason Hallett. Jason is a world-leading expert in sustainable solvent technologies and is our technical and scientific advisor. <coughs> Aggie is one of the inventors of the process and is leading a research team developing carbon fibers from lignin. She's heading our product development. I myself have spent four years developing this technology as part of my PhD, and I'm now Chrysalix's CEO. We're being supported by the Royal Academy of Engineering, Climate Kick, our tech transfer office, Imperial Innovations, as well as Imperial College London. We've been recognized in various business idea competitions, as well as by Forbes 30 Under 30. We have filed three patents, and earlier this year, we were able to run first scale-up trials at an open access facility in Belgium. There, we demonstrated our process on the pilot scale. We're also in contact with potential customers. One of them is SCA, the largest private forest owner in Europe who is looking for a new use of their 300,000 tons of sawdust they produce every year. We have also successfully produced a resin from our lignin, which can be used in plywood applications. However, we're still very much at the beginning of our journey. 
We're currently working towards our next milestone, which is the design of our pilot plant. For this, we're looking to recruit a process engineer to take over the process design and development. The 50,000 euros from the social innovation tournament would allow us to hire this person for the first year so we can achieve this next milestone and ultimately attract the funding we need to continue our development. We've considered different business models and are currently targeting a model where we would build and operate our first commercial plant ourselves. This would have a payback period of about three years. Thereafter, we would be looking to sell process design packages as well as licenses to achieve faster growth. This would allow us to break even about three years after the first plant going online. In 10 years time, our goal is to have converted 1 million tons of waste wood. To achieve this, I ask for your support so we can enable future generations to live sustainably in a clean world. Thank you.